Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Alice Chalmers Orange is about the only color you'll see around Don Clark's place in Kingston, Ohio. That's understandable. His love for this brand of tractor is something that's been passed down through several generations. It's just what I grew up on. It was a family, uh, that's what my family used, my grandfather and my dad. And, and so uh, I figured it was just as good as any. One of the top tractors in Don's collection is this 919 Hydro, which is powered by a twin cylinder 19 horse engine. Don's not exactly sure when his tractor was built, but he's got it narrowed down to just a couple of years. That's because this 919 came out near the end of Alice Chalmers' run of making lawn and garden tractors. I'm going to say it's an 83 or an 84. Because that's, this, is, this is about the last model they made. The 919 and the 920 were, were toward the end of the run for Alice Chalmers. From then on, it was, after this, it was a Deutsch Alice name. Built tough with a heavy-duty steel frame, the 919 Hydro offered a smooth hydrostatic transmission with an infinite number of ground speeds in both forward and reverse. The top speed for this tractor was 7 miles an hour. The design included built-in headlights for work when the sun was down, and even though Don's 919 is more than three decades old now, it's unrestored and still running strong. As far as I know, everything on the tractor is original. Uh, it's pretty much the shape of the gym when I got it. I haven't cleaned it up or anything, but the, the guy that had it took pretty good care of it. For its age, it's still running real well and still plenty of power, and uh, it's still doing what it was originally designed to do. From mowing to snow throwing, Alice Chalmers offered plenty of options with more than a dozen attachments. Don's sickle bar mower was made by Simplicity for the 900 series of tractors. And as you can see, it still does a great job of keeping the grass trim. I knew they had a circle bar, and I've wanted one for a long time. I found this one. After I got it, it was in a lot better shape than I thought it would be in. So I thought, well, I can use that thing. So, you know, it, it really don't do any good just sitting around. So once in a while, I'll get it out and use it. The swath board I made, it's uh, off of an original one. Um, it's probably not the right collar. I'm not sure what the collar was for the 900 series. This is probably the B series collar. But uh, yeah, it's, it's made just like the real ones. I made it from the one I have in my collection. When you combine a vintage tractor with a remarkable attachment like this sickle bar, you get an unbeatable combo that draws lots of attention. I've took it to one show since I've had it just because it had the sickle bar on it. And like I say, you don't see the sickle bars all the time. I had one guy went to buy it off of me because he's got, he's got a lot, lot of 900 series tractors, but you don't have a sickle bar mower. And he said he had to use for one. I said, well, it's not for sale, so. At one time, Don had more than 50 classic farm tractors, but over the last several years, he's scaled back and refocused on the smaller Alice Chalmers models. Now his collection is made up of around 65 lawn and garden tractors. I started doing the garden tractors because they're, you know, they're easier to work on, easier, easier to haul. And I just thought I'd probably ought to buy them while I could, you know, when, I, when you can find them and buy them at a good price. So I guess I kind of got carried away. If the massive number of orange tractors doesn't convince you that Don is an Alice Chalmers fan, then check this out. It's Don's memorabilia room where he collects and displays all things AC. I used to collect a lot of toy, 16 scale Alice Chalmers. Uh, I got a lot of those in there. Um, I got a lot of... Uh, old ads. I go through magazine, get old ads out of the magazines and put them in frames. There's some things in there that came from an old dealership in Chillicothe that's kind of special to me because that's my dad worked there for a while. So there's a lot of things like that in my room and uh, and a lot of people have made comments about that. You know, they haven't seen that much Alice Chalmers place uh, stuff in one place. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of that. Although Don's collection is already impressive, he knows there's always room to add another if the right tractor comes along. I'm to the point right now, you know, I got a lot of different things, a lot of different implements, a lot of different tractors. I don't have them all, but I don't expect to do that. But I probably got enough now to keep me busy for a long time. But like I say, if I can find a bargain, yeah, I'm still interested in it. So I enjoy it. I enjoy working with my hands and doing things with the tractors. So, uh, some people probably think I'm crazy. And some people say, well, you can only use one at a time. But, okay, maybe so. But I figure I could do worse.